Hi, it's Sunday, the 22nd of May, 2016. Uh, this is West Fryer, and I'm actually here at my church today after service, and I'd like to share with you a challenge and an invitation to participate and advance a transformed political culture here in our state. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this video, and I hope you'll not only watch it, but you'll share it with others. Uh, we need to fully exercise our rights as citizens in the state of Oklahoma for freedom of expression, for freedom of assembly, and freedom to participate in our political process. And as you are no doubt aware, unless you have kind of had your head under a rock, we are in a real crisis today in May of 2016 with respect to funding many different things in our state, including our public schools. And it is not okay. And one of the things that we need to do is to express our opinions appropriately and respectfully to our elected public officials and to let them know what we think and specifically what we want them to do. And so I am recording this using my smartphone. I'm going to be posting this to YouTube and I'm going to offer up to you uh, three specific things that I want to encourage you to do. This is going to take some courage. This is going to take some boldness. There's a lot of fear today with respect to technology. And one of the first things I'm going to encourage you to do is find someone tech savvy or, or more tech savvy than you are. And we can all find those people who are friends or family to help us with this process. Um, I want to remind us that there are reasons why tools like YouTube and Twitter are blocked in countries that do not value individual freedom the way we do here in the United States, in China, in Iran, in North Korea, in Pakistan, and in different countries in the Middle East. The citizens of those nations do not have the open access that we do. And why would those governments do it? It's because these tools offer unprecedented, disruptive capabilities for us to be able to communicate, for us to organize, and for us to push for change in our government. And in the same way we saw civil rights leaders and people across our country during the civil rights movement stand up and act together, we need to be doing the same thing in Oklahoma for the public funding of not only our schools, but also public services for, for a variety of things. So this last week, my wife and I had a chance to hear Robert Putnam, who's the author of several books, including Bowling Alone, but most recently the book Our Kids, talk about how societally across our country we've really seen a shift in the value and the emphasis that local governments and state and federal governments have put on the public education of students and we are really seeing this come to a crisis here in Oklahoma so I want to commend that book to you our kids and the hashtag our kids um, is actually one that's being used by a number of people to amplify those ideas because they tie real closely um, to what uh, I want to talk about today um, there are things in uh, the, the public space that are worth funding. And public schools are one of the most important ways that we can help folks in our society rise up out of poverty and improve themselves. And it is not okay for us to have the funding levels that we do. So I'm going to actually be recording some specific videos for my representative and my state, for my state senator, my state representative, as well as our governor. And I'm gonna encourage you to do the same because local matters, it resonates differently when it's local. So here are the, the three things. First of all, I'm gonna encourage you to record a short video. Try to keep it less than five minutes, maybe even less than three minutes and share both your opinion as well as specific requests for things that you want our state legislature and our, our state elected officials to do. Um, when you title it, and I'm going to encourage you to post it on YouTube. Why? Because YouTube is the second most popular search engine in the world today because it's free and because it's easily shareable. And we can amplify your ideas and the ideas of others who are wanting to campaign for change in our state. And so I'm going to ask you to include the name of the state representative. I'm going to ask you to include your own name and then also the hashtag transform okay for Transform Oklahoma. Um, and by doing this, it's going to allow us, hopefully, to be able to um, readily find and amplify other videos for people that are sharing these same kinds of things. Um, second of all, 
as you start, identify yourself and your neighborhood. Now, of course, you don't put your address. You don't need to put your phone number. You can email those things directly to your representative or your senator. Um, but identify yourself and where you live because it's important that you tell your elected officials not only who you are, but where you are because you are a voter that is helping elect them and either keep them in office or remove them from office depending upon how they respond to the requests and in even the demands of their constituents, their voters. Um, second, or I guess third of all, um, I'm going to ask that, that you post this to YouTube and include those specific things and you share it on social media. Now you may not be using Twitter, you may not even use YouTube. Again, find someone in your family or a friend or a neighbor who is more tech savvy and ask them to assist you with this, but it's important to post it on social media and to use that transparency transform OK hashtag because that's going to help other people amplify it and find your message. The last thing that I want to encourage you to do is to pray. Pray with me for a transformation in the political culture of our state here in Oklahoma. It is not okay that we are failing to fund public schools, and we have been historically. We have a political culture today in 2016 in Oklahoma that simply doesn't value public education, and that is not okay. It is not okay for us to ignore the needs of students and families all across our state. The way that we are going to help more Oklahomans rise up out of poverty is through education and through providing a high quality school and a high quality teacher that has a good salary in every single school, not just in charter schools or not just in, you know, certain schools. It's going to be for all schools. So I have some good news. The good news is that God is real. Um, you know, God answers prayer and, and he calls us to go on our knees together and to pray. So um, I want to ask you to join me in that prayer. I want to uh, rec help. I want you to share the message that God calls us not only to speak out, not only to pray, but to work, to advance his kingdom. Uh, and, and we can do this. Um, uh, it's actually not us that do the, does the work. It's God that's going to do the work, but we have the opportunity to join him in this work. And I want to encourage you to be bold because it takes courage and it takes boldness to stand up and to make a statement on the record. And we have the opportunity to do this. So please take the opportunity that we have here in the United States with the blessings of our Bill of Rights and, and our Constitution to speak out, to specifically give messages and share messages with your elected representatives and to make your voice heard. Thanks.